Clear wire clasps are aesthetically pleasing and semi-flexible, yet have 70 times the tensile strength of acrylic. The ease and speed of fabrication, aesthetics, versatility, and the fact that you get a chemical bond with acrylic allow you to use clear wire for a multitude of applications. Before starting this technique, it is important that you dry the Proflex clear wire strips in the drying oven. You can heat the material in a small toaster oven for about two hours at about 200 to 250 degrees. This is to dry the hydrophilic clear wire material. If you notice bubbling later, you did not dry the material sufficiently. When using a toaster oven, let the oven warm up for a couple of minutes before putting the clear wire strips in for drying. Toaster ovens sometimes have heat spikes when they are initially turned on. This could possibly distort the clasp material. When adding a clear wire clasp to an existing partial, open up an area on the partial to receive the tang of the clear wire clasp. Block out severe undercuts. However, keep in mind that you can use more undercuts when using the clear wire material. You need to make a duplicate model. This is easy to do. Using impression putty, take an impression of the area to receive the clasp. Next, prepare your impression to be poured with stone. Now simply pour your impression with stone and allow it to set. Separate the model from the impression and check it for accuracy. It is important that you trim this quadrant model so that it is flat or horizontal to the workbench. This will allow you to lay the model flat while you are adapting the clasp. Use an instrument to skive critical facial area to achieve better adaptation when fabricating clear wire onto the model. Clear wire strips are long enough that you can hold one end with your fingers or a small pliers. Heat the other end with a small microbutane torch. Use indirect heat with a brushing motion and carefully heat the strip. Be sure not to hold the flame in one location too long as this will burn the clear wire material. When the clear wire strip has softened and begins to droop, lay the strip quickly over the tooth to be clasped. Push down the molten material onto the quadrant model using a cool damp paper towel. This next step is very important. After the first adaptation, remove the strip from the model and check the inside surface for detail. If the material is not completely adapted, put it back on the model, reheat it, and readapt it. Then check it again for detail. If you still don't see detail, we suggest starting over with another piece of clear wire. It's important to see complete detail at this step because if the material is accurately adapted to the model, it's just a matter of cutting out the clasp. Using a Sharpie, draw out the basic design of the clasp. Gross trim the clear wire strip with a coarse white wheel. Don't cut off the unused portion of the strip. It will continue to serve as a handle during the finishing process. Return the clasp to the model and check it for fits. You can now begin to final finish the clasp. Finish the clasp using standard acrylic finishing techniques. Carbide burrs and stones work well for this. Experiment and use what is most comfortable for you. Be creative and use common sense. Final polish and high shine the clear wire clasp using standard acrylic polishing techniques. After polishing, return the clasp to the model and check it for fit. At this time, you can also cut off the handle.
if you're incorporating your clasp into an existing partial, after cutting off your handle, check the fit. It's very important to protect the inside of the clasp with a liberal amount of Vaseline. Remember, clear wire will turn cloudy if it comes in contact with monomer. During processing, you must protect all of the areas that will remain visible. Paint the inside of the clasp with Vaseline, secure the clasp to the model, and protect the outside of the clasp with base plate wax. After protecting the area that will be visible and flexible, add repair acrylic to the tang area and to the body of the partial. Cure the acrylic according to the manufacturer's instructions. After curing, boil off the case. If your clasp was blocked out correctly, it will be clear and the partial will be easy to finish. It's an easy process to incorporate clear wire clasps into a new partial. If you are setting teeth for a try-in, incorporate the clasps into the removable base plate using base plate wax. If you're going to finish the case, attach the clasps to the model using base plate wax as you see here. During this instructional video, you have been seeing different designs for clear wire clasps. That's just one of the advantages of clear wire. Be creative when fabricating clear wire clasps. Remember, the clasps are clear and they're hard to see in the mouth. Set the teeth following standard dental techniques. After the teeth are set, wax your case for finish. Remember, you will be blocking out the clasp before processing the acrylic, so block them out now before pouring the hydrocolloid mold. Remember, we don't want acrylic to come in contact with the portion of the clasp that will be visible on the finished case. Use standard techniques in preparing the case for hydrocolloid. Pour your hydrocolloid mold. After boiling off your case, add Vaseline to the inside of the clasp. Attach the clasp to the model using the same technique you saw earlier on this video. If necessary, modify the mold so as not to dislodge the clasps when inserting the model into the mold. Prepare the flask to receive acrylic. Pour the acrylic and cure to the manufacturer's specifications. After the acrylic is cured, deflask, boil off the case, finish and polish. Proflex clear wire clasps are affordable, technician friendly, and doctors and patients love them. Design them the way you like them. Remember, the clasps are clear and hard to see in the mouth. When adding a clear wire clasp to a metal frame, it is important to block out the metal mesh before taking a snap impression. Follow all the same techniques as described earlier on this video and fabricate a clear wire clasp. Now you will need to block out the clasp using Vaseline on the inside of the clasp to protect the inside of the clasp from monomer and base plate wax on the outside of the clasp 
to secure it to the model and to protect it from monomer. Now simply secure the clasp to the frame using repair acrylic. Proceed with the fabrication of the partial using standard techniques and the techniques shown on this video. Now that you have seen how easy it is to fabricate a clear wire clasp, you may want to consider it for your next case. Here are some additional samples of how you can design a clear wire clasp. 